Mechanism of Action Understanding the mechanism of action of the raindrop near vision inlay will enable you to comprehend how the inlay changes the shape of the cornea to create clear, uncorrected near vision. Unlike Monovision LASIK, the monocular uncorrected distance visual acuity is minimally affected, while binocularly, the distance visual acuity is essentially unchanged. The raindrop near vision inlay is composed of a physiologically transparent hydrogel material which is similar in water content and refractive index as the cornea. It is only 2 millimeters in diameter and approximately 30 microns thick and has no intrinsic power. It is implanted under a femtosecond corneal flap that is created at 30% of the total corneal thickness. The inlay is centered over the light constricted pupil and there are no special tools or equipment needed for centering the inlay. It is placed in the non-dominant eye only. This is an animation of the shape-changing technology that results in Raindrop's unique profocal shape. The inlay is implanted on the stromal bed under a femtosecond laser flap which is created at about 30% of the central corneal thickness. The resulting elevation from the thickness of the inlay and the epithelial remodeling of the cornea create the progressive prolate shape. One of the most valuable features of the raindrop near vision inlay is that it is removable with expected post-explant refractive and topographical results returning to baseline. These example refractive maps demonstrate the increase in power due to the central corneal steepening created by the raindrop inlay. The inlay volume biomechanically raises the stroma anterior to increase the central corneal curvature with the greatest effect at the very center of the cornea, tapering off in a transition zone past the edge of the inlay with little effect on the periphery. This slight curvature change increases the central power by a few diopters, providing a central zone to enhance near vision. The graph shows refractive power in diopters in the y-axis versus distance from the center of the pupil in millimeters in the x-axis. Zone 1, near vision, occurs at 0 to 1 millimeters from the center of the pupil. Zone 2, intermediate vision, at about 1 to 3 millimeters from the center. And in zone 3, 3 millimeters and beyond, distance vision, the refractive power returns to baseline. This graph also reveals how important pupil size is. It is recommended that the photopic pupil size be greater than 3 millimeters in diameter in order to provide the optimal uncorrected distance vision. By understanding the mechanism of action, one will have insight into how the cornea is changed and how near vision is achieved. This revolutionary shape-changing technology offers a life-changing vision solution to presbyopic patients.